Good afternoon all. Welcome back to Controlled Chaos Painting. Uh, I'm Ken and I'll be your painter today. And uh, this is actually one day after I started the two-part uh, deep space painting. Um, which again, is looking, it's right next to me. It's looking so beautiful. Um, I can't wait to get to the other part and hopefully it comes out really good. And if so, it should be spectacular. This one, I think I would just want to do some random patterns on this one. Again, another uh, 16 by 20 ca uh, canvas. What surprise. And uh, I'm about to work on the colors right now and get those set up. And then we'll start painting. So glad to have you back. And if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button for upcoming videos. Appreciate your support. Okay, the colors we're going to be using today are going to be uh, fuchsia, I believe you call it, pumpkin orange, bright magenta, purple iris, bright yellow, and white. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and combine these into two separate cups. So maybe use about half the paint in each cup. And we're going to layer this. We'll start with the uh, pink. And we'll go some orange. Sorry about the shadows there. And then go some darker pink. No worry about that splash. As you're, as you're going to see, uh, we're going to go right up over that. And then some purple. Some yellow. And some white. Another dash of pink, another dash of orange, and a dash of purple this time, dash of yellow, dash of pink. And some white. And then we'll do the second cup. Actually, I might do the second cup off camera. And there you go. Beautiful. two cups uh, hopefully that's enough if not we'll uh, make a little bit more let's get pouring I have a feeling this is going to be nice okay let's go ahead and start with the first cup Nice design there. Okay. Yeah, maybe should have made another one, but you know what? This stuff should stretch over the canvas. 
If not, maybe we'll add some white on the outside of the uh, perimeter and uh, take it from there. Again, the uh, if you put paint on the sides or the edges of the canvas, um, when you're tilting the canvas later, this this design is going to flow over that. Or no, I'm sorry, this design is going to push that to the edges. So whatever color you put, be it white, black, um, the color should push that off first. Uh, I don't know if that'll be enough, we'll see. And preserve your design. Okay, might just take some white and go ahead and pour some white on these edges here. Again, it will allow it to flow better off the sides and actually preserve the design a little bit better. Well, it'd be nice if we had a little bit more white, but we can go to another color. It's no problem. And honestly, it might have been fine just the way it was. Now I'm just adding a little pink to some of this empty canvas here. Again, get that flow going. And then we're going to tilt it in just a moment here. I think we're good. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pick the canvas up. And just choose a direction you want to tilt first. I usually go towards the more empty spots. And then start tilting it that way. And just hold it that way for a while. You'll see the areas with the majority of the paint. They'll start to push the rest of the paint down. Okay. Did I lose some of that orange white I liked in the middle there, but we still got some of it left. Okay, get it down there. Okay, now stop. Now bring the mass of that paint back to center of canvas. So tilt the opposite direction. See where the majority of it is moving really quickly. Okay, actually it's really well distributed. Probably should have used a little bit more paint. Okay, and actually we're going this way anyway, so we can just keep going. The flow seems to be going that way nice and smoothly okay stop it tilt it back towards center okay now tilt it towards this corner down here being stubborn for that corner okay stop it reverse that angle am I blocking your guys' view there okay there we go we'll level it back out hmm we could move it around some, but honestly, I like that division in color. You got areas, uh, we didn't quite get this area, but I can dip into the uh, drips that came off and get some paint on there. But uh, you got a nice division in color. You got your yellows and your orange and pink here. You got heavy pink and orange here divided by yellow. And then the middle is kind of dominated by the orange pink with little bits of white. And this, I love this area over here. This is gorgeous. I, don't get me wrong. I like the orange and white too. Um, okay. Okay. So there we have it. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, what does it look like to you? Um, do you see any patterns? Of course, at the end of the video, we're going to do a close-up like normal. 
Um, wow. <clears throat> Those are colors I wouldn't normally think I would do, honestly. Um, that's not, wow. <laughs> that's really going to bring a wall to life. Oh my God. That is, that is gorgeous. I don't know what to call it. And by the way, we, uh, I name these as well um, and date them. Um, I sign them in the front. Um, you haven't seen it because I did wait till they're dry to do that. Um, and then I flip them over and put a name for the painting, a date, uh, the fact that it's one out of one, and sign it again on the back. So, uh, next thing to do is we got to get rid of drips. Okay, there's going to be drips on the sides of the canvas. So you want to go through with a knife or your finger and drip those, uh, get those up. Otherwise, they're going to drag your painting off the canvas. I know I've said that before, but it's for the new people that are to the uh, channel. Okay, I would like to thank you all for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. It was definitely fun to do. As you can see, it's messy. Pretty soon, I'll have this stuff cleaned up with some new stuff, but I mean, it gets dirty so quickly. Besides, it looks used, um, and I kind of like that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get a close-up, and uh, then, not the next video. I think I'm gonna do another one after this, paint another one now, film it now, you're gonna see it later. Um, and then we're gonna get back to the space one. Um, but again, if you're enjoying these, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button for upcoming videos. Uh, let's get a close up. preserve your design. Wow. <laughs> That's really gonna be cool. 